First Alert Weather Update is brought to you by Custom Engineering Heating and Cooling. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your Friday morning update. For your Friday, still tracking some rain showers this morning, but this rain starting to make some pretty good eastward progress. We've had just a few secondary showers sort of redeveloping behind that primary round of rain from the overnight, but even the rain that we see right now, uh, that'll be leaving by around 8 to 9 o'clock this morning. After that, sun comes back in pretty quickly for the middle of the day, and then we do hold on to just a couple of clouds very late in the daytime today. No rain with that as we go into your Saturday. Not going to rule out at least an isolated sprinkle or a couple of stray raindrops, but overall uh, still nothing too significant. No significant chance of rain or showers for your Saturday. Just a few more clouds during the afternoon. Plenty of sun expected though for your Sunday. As we go through today though, we do see quite a strong wind picking up. First alerting you to some of these wind gusts up to 30 to even 35 miles per hour going into the afternoon here. So that stronger wind uh, definitely enough to move around some of those loose outdoor items, especially lighter items. So if you have any outdoor furniture or maybe even a uh, grill or just your trash cans, you might want to put those inside as you're heading out the door this morning. Yard work forecast still not in too bad of shape for the weekend. Fair tomorrow, especially just with the cooler weather. By Sunday, we'll start to warm back up a little bit. So looking good on Sunday and on Monday, too. Those are actually the two best days out of the next five. Take a look at that here in your first alert 70 forecast. We're right back to 56 by Sunday. That's after 48 tomorrow and then 61 on Monday. We'll have another round of rain coming in for your Tuesday. Uh, that's just on Tuesday there, though. By Wednesday and Thursday, back to some sunshine once again. But take a look at those overnight lows most nights into the 30s actually this weekend 31 on Saturday night. We're seeing more lows right near freezing again in the middle of next week, so that does come with some chances for frost as well. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go and online for more news and weather updates.